that a, a fisherman son from the north of Senegal become a musician because most of the famous musicians in that part of uh, Africa singers especially come from the fisherman caste <laughs> It wasn't forbidden to see a person who's talented when something really interesting is happening to jump in the middle of the people to start singing or dancing or clapping hands. People will love it and enjoy it. But it's just that. It's that you are a fisherman. Your job should be fishing. That's how the society was organized. It didn't come into my mind that one day I'm going to use the music to be traveling with that. I learn how people organize festivals. I see so many big stages all over the world. And I was dreaming and saying, why can't I bring something like that to my community, to my hometown? Because I know that they can't offer what these people are offering to the others. And also it will be an opportunity for people to come to see where I come from, to see my landscape, to see my people.
Me and Baba have been uh, working on uh, his album for the last year and a few times we've been out here in Senegal and he's been talking about his festival Blues de Fleur. This year is going to be in Pozor, his home, home village, and uh, he wanted the very best to come and play. I think we're the first European band that's ever played it. Traveling up to Podor for the last nine hours in this little bus, and uh, it's, it's been amazing. You know, coming up to see Baba's home village, where he's from, where everything started. You know, in his lifelong career. I think we're all feeling quite anxious about how we'll be received at this massive show that everything is about Baba Mal, you know? How are you doing? Thank you for having me. Nice to see you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi, hey, hello. Baba Winston. We met in Lewis. Yeah, yeah. In Lewis, yeah. Oh, it's, it's not chicken, is it? But uh, first thing tomorrow, or even tonight, I'll probably set up so we have a rehearsal and recording place in the hotel. Go down there. See, I have a stage. You have a stage? Yeah, I'm going to yeah, play here. Yeah, that's it. The first time I came in contact with Baba was uh, when he did his last album. He asked me to remix, or they asked me to remix uh, a song, uh, Miracle. 
And instead of charging for the remix, I asked that Baba would sing on the next Very Best album. You'll be there, your house band. Yes. Good, with no payment. Yeah. <laughs> Only beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the beginning, it was it was difficult. He was hiding himself, you know, singing sometimes in the radio stations, <laughs> making some small records. And his father gave him advice like, "Oh, if if you sing to help people to understand what's happening in the world and uh, talk about knowledge, you know, all the stuff which can help an African to grow, you know, I hope." We can, you know, he can give you the benediction. So his parents gave him the benediction to start singing. nomadic person because I come from a community called the Fulanis. You find them all over Africa. They are good travelers. They like to travel because that's the reality of their life. But something is really important for a nomadic person. You go away a lot, but you always want to come back to where you come from. That's your reference. That's where you everything that makes you want to go away start. So you want to come back all the time. Someone with no roots, it's like a tree with no roots, you can't grow. And if you can't grow, you can't have leaves, you never have branches, you never give fruits, you never give flowers. It's your roots. You have to face that. And this is where you start every journey that you do in your life. to meet people like Mansur Sek and some other friends. At that time, we were a young group of uh, people who wanted to go away from the caste system where the society put you just in one place, and that's it. Most of the songs that we were singing was coming from the tradition, but at the same time, we was putting inside of the song some lyrics talking about how we wanted to see things to change in, in, in our society. And then we start to be thinking, maybe we can travel together just to go away from this part of Senegal for a while. We wanted to show to our community that we are free. We don't want to be 
catched by this caste system. Walinuma, kala jo walinuma, Baba, Aba Baba Malibi fola be walinuma kala do. Donc Baba Mal est natif de cette ville pour nous, comme moi. On s'est connu très jeune par nos parents d'abord. Et Dieu a fait que nous avons évolué ensemble, grandi artistiquement dans cette ville de Polo. Et depuis, on a été partout. On a sillonné d'abord l'Afrique ensemble, le Sénégal ensemble, euh, de deux côtés, de la rive gauche comme de la rive droite, comme le côté de la Mauritanie du Sénégal. Jusqu'au Mali, jusqu'en Guinée, jusqu'en Côte d'Ivoire. Donc on a signé un peu l'Afrique de l'Ouest. Et après ça, on est retourné ensemble euh, jusqu'en Europe pour encore perfectionner notre musique, perfectionner notre art. I remember when I was young, I was all the time attracted by any kind of cultural ceremony in my hometown. I wanted to know what the songs was about, who write these songs, what's the meaning of these songs. And then, when I was singing, I was very surprised to see that every time that people hear my voice, they turn and to, and to watch me really strongly. This festival now is in its eighth year and has grown and grown and grown. And it is primarily to bring cultures together and just to show people that we are so similar in so many ways. The festival itself has had a few locations uh, because we're right hard on the Mauritanian border here. And so they shared the festival. And so two countries that, that have their differences were brought together in a, in a, in a remarkable way. It took me a little while to get to know him properly, until we came to Senegal, actually. Uh, but it's the same, you know, when you work with an artist, it's like, it's very much about the music, for a while at least, and then you get to know each other as, as people. But uh, I think on, on our last trip to Senegal is when I really kind of started to understand Baba as a person and what he means to, to the people of Senegal and this area as well, Mali and Mauritania. Oh, my God. 
making a festival just in, in between people from my community is not interesting. We have to share it with some other people who's gonna come from far away and just in a shock gonna tell us how they feel about me, about my community, about the instruments we are using there and to show to people also that all the instruments, all the singers, all the musicians, they are all the same. Wherever we come from, if you open the door, we know that we can sit down and we can write songs, we can jump on the same stage, we can perform together, forget about the business of music, but just enjoy ourselves and build something that can be strong. Winston plays his... Alors, uh, moi, je joue le banjo, et Fred ici, il joue le, la guitare. This is why also I saw that it will be really interesting for my people down there, because the people since a long time are very open the hospitality, the sharing, is something that is really strong in that part of Africa. So why not sharing into the best thing that I think we can do is music. And I believe in music and the power of music. It will be a, a good opportunity for people to discover that the culture down there in Podor, in Futa, in Senegal is really strong and everyone can pick up something that can help him in his life. I was working with the United Nations Development Program with Oxfam International, and that means I have to start this work with my people. And without an organization like that, where is music, but at the same time, there are some conferences, some professional in the education, in, in health system, who's gonna come and talk to people about what we can do together and what point are we on, on these issues and what's next to do. So it's all this package that make me say that uh, an organization of a festival of three or four days in Podor will be very good to show my country, to open a window for my community, and to build some new connection with uh, all this organization to talk about this important issue and to do something important for the people. and hear about how his kind of work ethic. Uh, he will go to a village or a city where uh, they might need a hospital or a school and he'll do a really big show and a big portion of the money goes to building this infrastructure. I've been traveling for uh, quite uh, more than 20 years with my band all over the world. And when someone travels, no one can 
stop him watching or listening and learning because you you own your eyes you own your ears and your brain is your brain and whatever you get you compare it to where you come from they make the horse dance hey Hey, of Senegal we have in one side the popular music that everyone can jump in the middle and express himself and we have the music of the griots which is more about telling the story where we come from with Mansour Sek I get this opportunity to be accepted by the griots the families of musicians and to learn more about this style of music Donc on a été toujours l'un de l'autre, complément de l'autre. On se complète musicalement, on se complète spirituellement, on se complète aussi amicalement, parce que c'est mon frère. C'est plus que l'amitié. Donc je le connais, je connais son talent, je connais ses capacités artistiques et musicales dont il donne à travers le monde entier.
Every time we would work at his house, we'd have a choir over or a big drum group. The day would always finish with uh, Baba and standing on the patio late at night with this big circle of people around him. Everybody's listening to every word he says and he'll talk for an hour. I obviously don't understand what he says, but you, you, you realize quickly that he's saying something very important and that, that these people are really paying attention. It's good to be thinking about uh, how people can build a better future when they come together, not just uh, talking about music, but music is the key of that because music is culture, and uh, culture brings people together. And uh, it was always something that I really appreciate. When I write a song, of course, some of the lines, some of the rhythms, some of the words come from me, but I always want to share it with people to see what they can bring into what I have. for a casual jam, and then suddenly there's that's about... The, that's the magical thing that seems to be happening here repeatedly, day after day. You, you sit around for hours and hours wondering what's going on, and suddenly from nowhere something just magic, the most amazing magical thing just happens. And look, it's um, gone. It's, it's like, thing. that was 30 seconds ago, and it just disappeared. It's like that. I'm scared to sleep here. I don't want to go to bed anymore. I just think if I sleep, it's just um, I miss something. The most yeah, magical thing. That, that, the whole night, man. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Africa and African people have been living in harmony according to what the ancient people say, the old people say, a long time, because everything was organized in the society that everyone know its place. And with uh, the Western people coming down there, it did disturb this organization, but it didn't take away the meaning of the tradition. The, the responsibility on, of a human being in society, 
how to take care about your children and some other people's children because you all live together and you have to work on the future together. So all of that we learn it from the songs that we get from these old people that we met in our journey. But since it's coming from Africa, we realize that we're getting famous and we have to bring back to Africa. How we can bring back to Africa to say to African people what we see really important happening outside, which is helping human beings to, to move forward. And I think one of the important things is education. You know, you learn that people need education. The time have changed. The education was there at the old time, but it was broken at some point, but you have to come back in a modern way so people will get all the time be ready if the new realities that the world is offering them. So this is what we try to, to make uh, the, the, the leaders to understand. All kind of leaders, the political ones, the leaders in the families, the traditional leaders to know that we need a new, very big, strong system of education for the young generation. Africa did pass through a lot of heavy turbulences, but whenever it's uh, nearly falling down, people manage to survive and to bring something bigger. You see slaves having taken from Africa, uh, people come to colonize Africa. Even now, some most of the countries of Africa are not free, but for all this problem, we try to make it at the best for the continent. I always say that Africa have friends, people who believe in its culture, its food, the fact that people live together, the fact that everything is colorful, the sound is everywhere. We need to share that with the rest of the world. We have so much opportunity in the world. If we just look at carefully in what we're doing together, we can enjoy life on, on this planet. <laughs> a lot of things are going in my mind. Maybe I don't know what's going in my mind. I'm just enjoying the evening. The opening ceremony is uh, about a, a tradition between fishermen, and this is happening in the river today. And every time I want people to just to think and to see and to know what did happen before, because we don't want it to die, we want it to stay as long as possible. I 
I wish that Africa can play like a role is to come back again like an older person to educate some part of the world to say to them, yes, we are not on the top on technology, we are not on the top of uh, businesses, but our humanity, we can share it with the rest of the world and this, it's there, it's natural, we didn't lose that. It's like expectations is the last thing you want to have for a thing like this. If we get off stage without being booed off, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I really don't know. So 
gonna be good. Exactly. I think we're all praying for acceptance. <laughs> think the next young generation and the next young generation coming have a big role to play and we have to educate them so they will not pass in all the turbulences that we did pass in the past.